Hello and welcome to me playing some more Final Fantasy X. When last we left off, we were about to go see the very, very, very famous cutscene, which I believe is across the road. Oh, yep, there's Kamari. And he points to where Yuna is. trying too hard they told me everything everything well so then you know yeah I'm sorry It's just, you know, all those things I said. Like, let's go get Sin, or about Xanarkand. I didn't know what would happen to you, Yuna. I guess... I hope it didn't make you sad. Forgive me. I wasn't sad. I was happy. It's funny because they got rid of the uh, swimming mechanic in uh, in the sequel. Yuna, just don't do it. The pilgrimage. Uh, yeah. That's right. Forget all about sin. Uh, about being a summoner. Forget all of that. Mm, you know, live a normal life. Come on now, Yuna, what do you say? Maybe I will. It does make me wonder. Did Seymour actually make it to Xanarkand? Yeah. Except Riku. She'd be with you. Lulu and Waka wouldn't hold out long. Kamari would say yes, too, I know. But Sir Oren. I'll make him understand, Yuna. It's the least I can do for you. No, I should tell him. He deserves it. Because he's a summoner. He would have had guardians and have been on the pilgrimage. What'll I do if I give up my pilgrimage? Mm. Hey, Xanarkin. Let's go to Xanarkin. Uh, not the one in Spira, the one I'm from. Uh. Yeah, we can all fly there. Everyone can go. Then we'll have a big party at my place. <laughs> and then we could see Blitzball. That's right. Your Xanarkin Abes would play? Yeah. We could all watch you play in the stadium all lit up at night. I'd cheer and cheer till I couldn't cheer anymore. Yeah, right on. Well, what about after the game? Huh? We'd go out and have fun. In the middle of the night? <laughs> no problem. Xanarkin never sleeps. Let's go to the sea. Before the sunrise. 
the city lights go out one by one. The stars fade. Then the horizon glows, almost like it's on fire. It's kind of rose-colored, right? First in the sea, then it spreads to the sky, then to the whole city. It gets brighter and brighter, till everything glows. I actually don't remember this. It's really pretty. I don't remember him telling her this. I know you'd like it. Hmm. I'd like to see it someday. Well, you can, Yuna. We can both go. I wonder if the Bahama Faith can actually show her that. This is the part I remember is this video. Because this confused me because she doesn't do water fights, but she can breathe underwater just like he can. And if she can do this, it puzzles me even more why they removed swimming mechanics from X2. Because I kind of, I really like the swimming mechanics. I like the fact that you can fight underwater. So I guess everybody on Spiro's part amphibian. I'm fired. <laughs> I mean, they're all fugitives, so. Stay with me until the end, please. Not until the end. Always. 
Yes, always. <laughs> Big baby, I'm looking at you. I know you and I both know what happens to him at the end of this. Roger. Oh, view the underwater date scene. Okay, so you can't actually go over to her yet. Wait, I'll go with you. Oren? Waka? Lulu? Kamari? Riku? Everyone, we leave at dawn. And... I'm sorry for putting you through all this. And I'm... Enough. You need your rest. Yes. Good night. So Oren was there taking care of uh, Titus. T yeah, Titus. Basically since uh, Jekt became Sin, right? So he would know his actions fairly well. Ooh, lucid ring. Um, right. Who is this person? They're saying there was a right in Bavel. <laughs> um, is there anything over here? Uh, I guess not. Okay. Um, So, my thought is that... Oh, calm lands. Do the calm lands. Perfect. He specifically did this. He has been manipulating everything in such a way that he anticipated... Um, this is the reason why he's so obsessed with continuing the pilgrimage. He knew that when they get to Xanarkand, the choices that are made will be made based on knowing Titus's personality. The Comlands. Long ago, the High Summoner spots in here. The road ends here. Beyond, there are no towns, no villages, only endless plains. Many summoners stray from their path and lose their way here. Um...
Honestly, I don't blame them. Nice. Always known where to go. Nice big open grassy field. That determination, I think that's what Oran knew would happen. Let's go. I told Yuna I would find a way. I guess. I wanted to believe that words could make it come true. So the Calmlands always kind of reminded me of the of like springtime uh, alfalfa fields. Can I mug him? And yep. Okay. So he does fall apart for that. <laughs> Oh no, fell asleep. Okay, well, that's fine. Grab you, attack you. Um, Kamari, I think you. Do I need to actually level up Kamari? Ooh, wait, what do I have? Oh, just Water Gun, Thundaga. Uh, should be fine. Yeah, in, uh, in Eastern Washington, there are alfalfa fields, and when you get springtime ones, they're only, I don't know, about calf height, and they're all nice and gentle rolling plains, kind of like what's directly in front of me, down there, about where Titus's head is, and it's all just kind of like that, and it's just absolutely gorgeous to run Perhaps through. would like to know a bit about these plains. Do tell. Mm -hmm. As you know, these plains were once a battlefield. A great battle between Bavel and Zanakan, the melee of Machina. That war left this place a barren, lifeless land. Then time passed. The summoners took note of this uninhabited land. Great battles could be fought here with no harm to the common folk. Perfect final battle with sin, as it were. Summoners wait here, ready to perform the final summoning. Ah, to know what they must feel. In any case, when sin is defeated here, the calm will visit Spira once more. That's why this place is now known as the Calm Lands. Exactly who dubbed it so is unknown. And that, as they say, is that. Oh dear, I know. There's a chasm, a great rend in the earth in these parts. A scar left from High Summoner Gandalf's bitter battle with sin 400 years past. I'd like to hear about. What a. Maybe next time. Oh, wait. That was Chuckle that walked by me. Uh, like Kamari. Uh, Waka. And stoned. Nice. Okay. So this plane has quite a few actually just kind of random things that you can do here. This is the three major things that you can do here. Let me think if I can remember them. 
They are, you can start collecting. Uh, you can start, you can grab the weapons to start collecting creatures. And if you collect 10 of every creature, and I do mean every creature, uh, the guy actually, so you have to equip certain weapons. They're, they're like called capture weapons or something like that. Um, it has catching on as one of the special abilities. And if you kill them, if you kill an enemy with that capture weapon, but it has to be a melee attack, which is kind of annoying on flans and, and other magic creatures, but um, but if you capture things, it'll send it to the guy. No. Okay, where'd you go? There you are. Um, anyway, if you... Uh, special steal you. Oh, stealing grenades. Okay. Um, but if you capture 10, he creates the ultimate, uh, beasts. He creates the ultimate... Like, if you capture every flan, he creates the ultimate flan. If you capture every, uh, bee, he creates the ultimate bee. And you can fight them. And if you capture 10 of everything, and possibly even you have to defeat all the ultimates, he'll create the ultimate mob boss. Ooh, weapons. Whoa. That's actually quite good for magic, 13%. Auto med. Wow. Uh, let me buy one of those. Yeah. No, we'll just keep that as it is. In case I need it. Um. Oh yeah. So anyway, he and I'm not going to him yet. I, I will head over there in a minute or two. Uh, but if I continue over here, um. Uh, there's a, there's Rin's travel agency, but there's also an Albed Primer over here as well. Uh, but yeah, he creates the, the, like, side, the optional side boss that's harder than the final boss. Honestly, I've never had issues defeating Sin in this game. He was not all that hard. Uh, as compared to some other Final Fantasy bosses I've fought. And dead. Let's see. Try to see if I can grab one of you. I can't. All right. Well, let me go to Rin's travel agency. Because you can rent a chocobo on the planes while we're here. Oh, nice. Oh, there's Rin's travel agency. Fyraga. Ooh. That's some hefty damage. So, how shall we do this?
Okay, in here, perfect. Who are you? Father Zook. Long time no see. You are you now? Hmm. You certainly don't look like Mr. Kinok's murderer. Huh. What you say? Please, tell us what has happened. Maester Micah just issued a personal order, you know. It said that you and your guardians murdered Maester Kenok and fled. We are to kill you on sight, or so it says. What of Bevel? Things are calm on the surface, but the depths are turbulent. After the death of Maester Kenok, Kelk Ronso left Yevon. Convenient. Getting around will be easier with Yevon in disarray. But be careful, my friends. You have been branded enemies of Yevon. You should avoid temples for the time being. Thank you, Father Zook, for your warning. Well, there's only really... Father, you came all the way here just to tell us this? To tell the truth, I was a little curious to see... this summoner you are guarding. I hope her pilgrimage goes well. For your sake, too. Thank you, Father. I must be off. I shall pray for all of you. And there goes Father Zook, never to be seen again. Messy. What is... Yevon, Micah and Seymour are not of one mind. Remember what Seymour said last we met. I do not think Micah will concur. She's not stopping, is she? Nope. Yuna, she's made her decision. But I can't just let her go. We won't have to. We'll save Yuna even if she calls the final Aeon. But how? I'll think of a way. But what if you can't? I'm tired of talking to you. It's always but this, but that. But... Let's think together. Okay. And if we can't think of something, we find another way. Okay. Has anybody ever tried just fighting Sen? So, we are officially traitors then. Hey, let them say what they want. It's it's okay. I'm not worried. Well, maybe just a little. It's so hard not to be. Hey, it's okay to worry. And if it gets too rough, just yell. Yell. Hmm. Okay. I might just do that. Yeah. Who was that? Until half a year ago, he was a summoner. Waka and I were his guardians. It's kind of a short pilgrimage. He gave up halfway. Here, on this plane. Now he is a monk at the Bevel Temple. Oh, you know what? We might be able to actually talk to him again. When I was guarding Zook. I already told you this, yeah? About when I was too into the game to be a good guardian. So, when Father Zook said he wanted out, tell you the truth, I was kind of glad. Gaga Zed is Ronso Land, Kimari home. Hmm. Uh, hey, we might meet your family. Kimari has no family. Oh, sorry. But Kimari not alone. Okay. Oh, hey, I can play Blitzball. What happens if I leave? Okay. 
All right, we will call it here for an episode. Thank you all for joining me on this adventure. Uh, it is getting close to summer, so do stay safe out there. Do stay hydrated, stay sunscreened, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye now.